Want to know how Google Tag Manager works? Then this is the video for you. This is a must watch video before you dive into Google Tag Manager and start using it. But before we go to today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified about the new videos that I post on a regular basis. Now let's dive in and see how Google Tag Manager works. When you place a Google Tag Manager JavaScript on a page, it's basically sitting there and can listen to actions happening on the page as defined by your triggers. So you need to define a trigger that'll activate Google Tag Manager to take certain actions. When a trigger condition is met, then it fires the tag to an appropriate place. A trigger basically observes an interaction on the page and decides whether a tag should be fired or not. In this process, it also uses variables, which are used to capture some information of the page of the action to provide that information to triggers and tags as needed. There are various types of triggers in Google Tag Manager. One of them is page views, which listens for the page being fully loaded and ready to view. Click triggers, listen for any clicks on the page on any type of element. Could be link, could be button, images, etc. Then you have user engagement, such as whether the element is visible, form was submitted, scroll depth, YouTube video watch, etc. And others such as custom events, which can listen to any events that are being fired through data layer, history changes of your browser, any JavaScript errors, and any timer delays that you put. We will cover some of these as we go through the examples. So to sum it up, there are a few things in play here. One is your container code that's ready to listen, a trigger which makes it listen to particular actions on the page or browser, and the variables which store information about various things, such as the actions, the page name, IDs, etc., which can then be passed to triggers and tags as needed. Once the trigger criteria is met, it fires the appropriate tag. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Feel free to leave any questions you have regarding data layers or Google Tag Manager in the comments as well. I will answer all the questions. See you in the next video.